We're now moving on to the best South African feature film. And to present this award is Ziada Matlingwan. And the winner of the best South African feature film, directed by Angus Gibson, is Death of the Moon. The award-winning Best South African Film at the Durban International Festival in July, Back of the Moon, has received resounding success at its Cape Town premiere. Back of the Moon is set in Sophia Town in 1958 and revolves around an intellectual but notorious gangster who, on the eve of his house being demolished by brutal apartheid police, decides to fight them back to the death. Back of the Moon is expected to hit South African cinemas on the 6th of September. And if you want to know more about the movie, check out our interview with Angus Gibson, Academy Award nominee and director of Back of the Moon, only on Joburg Today. To develop a community requires strong partnerships. And for the organizers of the Quota Festival to be held in Soweto come this September, that partner is Time Bank. We speak to Cheslin Jacobs to find out more. The thing that makes this thing unique is that it's authentically South African, uh, Lero. You know, a quarter is a is a South African street food. It's 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 a it's inbred in our culture, our township culture across the country, specifically in in in, in Johannesburg. It's born and bred on on our shores, um, and and Time Bank in in similar vein is is born and bred right here. You know, it's it's. It's a bank by South African people for South African people. Uh, we're big on authenticity. That's, in, that's an important characteristic for us as an organization. And we think the Quarter Festival embodies all those things. You know, it's, it's community driven. It's, it's taking what our people love in their communities, empowering people around those uh, communities to do what they love and then just come together and share good time with each other. As a result of our Quarter Festival sponsorship, we've come across Josie FM as well. And, and that's a community based uh, a radio station out in Soweto who's plowing back massively into that community. Um, but at the same time, we've also allowed the Court of Festival and Josie FM to partner. And, and that's gonna give each, and that's gonna give both those those entities some, some good traction, we believe. But but I think more importantly for us it's about how do we find these gems in communities? How do we allow them to feed off each other's energy? And, and how, at the same time, how do we start building our brand and entrenching it in these communities uh, a little? And I, and I think that's what it's about. I think for me, what's impressive is you're literally connecting two groups of people together within a community to make things happen. Are we likely to see more investment within communities taking place? A absolutely. And it's about how do we give back as much as we possibly can to, to audience South Africans. And I think Costa Festival One is a, is a great example of that. It's been growing year on year. We're expecting over 10,000 people at the festival over the two days, celebrating something authentically South African. Now, at any festival, you spend money, right? And the hardest thing for South Africans is to actually save. Mm -hmm. What sort of products do you have currently on the market to help us with that? For years and years, it's, it's, been, it's been assumed that South Africans don't have a savings culture. And, and I've always been of the view that, that I don't think that's entirely accurate. Is, is we may not have a very formal savings culture. And when I, when I say formal savings culture, is that, that money is not saved with financial institutions predominantly. It's, it's again, it's community groups coming together and saving by a stock file. It's, it's, you know, the old adage of people saving under mattresses in the jars on top of their fridge and things like that. But the way we've designed our savings product is that we've designed it in a way that will show people that saving with a financial institution is actually extremely powerful. So as part of becoming a Time Bank customer when you get your everyday account via the kiosk, is we've embedded our goal save uh, product or our goal save tool into it. So every customer gets that, it's not a separate process. And what that allows you to do is to have up to 10 different savings pocket levers. And the beauty about it is that you could name them all differently. So, so I think the important thing around savings is it must be goal driven, hence we've called it goal save. And then you can name each of those goals. So personally, I've got, I've got three very specific goals at the moment and, and, and one of it is my, my beautiful wife wants a new house and, and so we've got a we've got a, a, a combined one that's called house and, and we know that's a longer term goal. We have to save, you have to have deposits, pay your transfer fees, all those kind of stuff. We then have a, a, a medium term medium term goal is that that we've decided that we'd love to take our two kids uh, to, to an in, on an international holiday. So 
So we've got that as a medium term goal. And, and you know, so we've set that for ourselves. So that's called overseas, overseas holiday. And we've got a shorter term goal, which is, which is to hopefully pay our kids school fees um, up front January next year. So that's our shorter term goal. And the nice thing about these things is it's, it's very visual for you with, with, with Time Bank. So what that means is if, if I start my savings pocket today with 100 Rand, and I log back into that platform tomorrow, it won't be a hundred rand. It will be a hundred rand and 10 cents, for example. And the next that will be a hundred rand and 15 cents. And, and the beauty of that is that you can literally see your money grow every day. It's, it's the market leading interest rate for any kind of liquid savings out there. You can earn up to 10% per annum. And the way we've built that is that for the first 30 days that you're saving in Goal Save, customers will earn 6% per annum. From day 31 to day 90, customers will earn 7% per annum. And then from day 91, 9% per annum. So how the 10% works is that when customers want to withdraw the money, you've got two options. You can opt for an immediate withdrawal. What that will mean is that a customer will receive all the capital they've put into there, plus all the interest they've earned or they can opt for a 10-day notice period. And what the 10 days notice period will make them eligible for is what we call this bonus. And depending on how long you save for, that, will, that could ratchet up all the way to, to 10% per annum. And I think the important thing there is, is, is the longer you save, the more you earn. And, and that discipline is important. The most important part of it is to start that journey. So that's what we encourage, start small. You know, many, many people will say, that, oh, I need money to save. Uh, I'm already, it's, it's, it's already a struggle to, to, to get by. And, uh, but the important thing is to start and, and, and start small. What's up, what's up? My name is Christopher Jafta and you are watching Joburg Today. Boom. <laughs>